Hello and welcome. Today we'll be taking a look at another custom game mechanic, very similar to the power conduits in my previous PvP Zeds map, because this was also built specifically for a PvP Zeds map, but didn't make the final cut in the previous map. However, it's also really great for PvE adventure maps and that sort of thing. So the idea this time, very similar again to the power conduits, is that we want the player to perform some action or to obtain some item before they can power the systems that you've built via an AND gate. So this time what we have is a powered minecart, a furnace minecart, that's sitting on top of a detector rail. Now that will always be providing power, but if we invert that power with a redstone torch on a block, we can say that as long as this furnace cart is on the detector rail, we will not be providing power to our systems. And if we just add a little bit of a ramp here with a powered rail as well, then whenever we have a cart going up it, it will constantly be sliding back down because it will hit the top there, and this power rail is on it slant so it will always be pushing the cart back down. However the furnace, if powered, can fight the uh, the current of our powered rail and therefore as long as we feed it coal or charcoal then we will no longer have the powered rail on our detector rail or we will no longer have the powered minecart on the detector rail that is and therefore we will have power to our systems. Now for every coal or charcoal you add to a powered minecart you get approximately four minutes of time. Therefore, for every coal you add, you will have about four minutes of your system. So if we were to put some coal in now, you can see that the mine cart goes up and we have constant power being delivered to our systems. And once that four minutes runs out, you will have to restock the cart to continue using your systems. However, you can continuously add more coal or charcoal to the cart, even while it's like this. So for every one I add, we can add another four minutes up to, um, I don't know, theoretically maybe 64, or there could possibly be not a max, but it would take a very long time to test that out, so I'll leave that to you if you feel like it. Now uh, what I've done is just set up a bit of a decoration here, and you can just make it look like a furnace if you'd like, or otherwise just set it up like this with a little bit of protection. It doesn't really matter, and it's the exact same system, except that our power is coming from the bottom here from a inverter. Basically we're just siphoning off the power with a tor torch and therefore whenever it gets to the end here we need to invert it again so that as long as we do not have power to our uh, detector rail we will constantly be feeding power to this door here which means that as long as we don't have power this door will be always open and your base will be left undefended or whatever other system you'll have maybe off or on or however you want to set it up but this is for something similar to my PvP Zeds maps anyway there you go and then we have a switch on this side that can also control the door if I stop lagging there and even though the switch should theoretically work it won't because our system doesn't have power but if we provide power to our cart here we got this torch turned back on there and we can now control our door. And of course you can hide this uh, redstone anywhere and you can apply this to any sort of system you may have built but um, otherwise uh, that is about it. I will see you next time.